Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. So we have made it into mid-October now and it's about 2.30 or so in the afternoon right now in Chandler, Arizona. Believe it or not, it's only 83 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I think it was about two or three weeks ago that we finally started to dip below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is like the nicest climate or part of the year here is in the fall and then in the spring. Right now it almost feels like it's spring even though it's fall. But it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. And honestly I just got tired of the heat. And also there were a lot of mosquitoes. There's actually still mosquitoes because we got some really heavy rain this last weekend. Um, but now I think it's time to show you my Areocarpus collection. So you can see here, I think I kind of lost my mind last year uh, and bought a lot of Areocarpus, which means that my wallet is definitely quite a bit lighter because Areocarpus are not cheap. Well, obviously because I have, you know, several more mature Areocarpus, I must like the plant. But it's a little bit of a love-hate relationship. I can't quite describe it. Um, there was somebody on Instagram who said, like, um, they hate Areocarpus, but it's their favorite plant, and that kind of sums up how I feel about these plants. I don't know what it is. They are very fascinating, they are very cool, but they also can be extremely annoying in that they are, you know, they can be very rot prone, um, and they're extremely slow growing. And if you've seen any of my seedling videos in the past, I have talked about how slow Areocarpus grow from seed. <sighs> I don't know what to say about that, but you know what? Today, I just, I'm just going to show you my Areocarpus collection. I haven't really been buying any more plants for quite some time, um, so these are the ones that I'm you know, hoping to hold on to and to get them into really old age. I'm going to cut over into my seedling shade house, um, which is where I'm going to show you my very first Areocarpus. All right, so I am inside my seedling shade house in my yard, and for those, those of you who have seen my videos on my seedlings, this will be a very familiar space to you, but we're in October now, and look at these guys. They're getting, you no know, of some size, but anyway, what I wanted to show you was my first Areocarpus ever, and it's this guy right here, down on the bottom left. It is an Areocarpus fissuratus that I bought from uh, somebody off of Instagram. I bought it, I think it was July of 2021, and I have a picture of what it looked like when I got it, so I'll put that picture here. And over the past year and change, it has grown quite a bit, which when I say they grow slow, they do, but you know, it's not bad. And this was the plant that started it all where I basically lost my mind. Um, so a lot of the plants that you'll be seeing today is kind of a mixture of, there was a, another guy off of Instagram who was letting go of his collection, his plant collection. So a lot of my plants actually come from him. So this Fissuratus over here came from that, so, that guy off of Instagram. Doing quite well. And then I have an Areocarpus Cachubianus var elephant, elephant Titans, which I bought off of eBay. And just stuck it in here. This is in a Thompson Clayworks pot. I like this one. It's so basic and so simple, and I love it a lot. And the aerial carpus seem to like being together like this. They've been in here for a while now. I think in my usual soil mix, and then decompose granite on the top. And I used to keep like really detailed records of when I was watering these plants because I was so worried about rotting them out, but now I just kind of wing it. Look at that. But yeah, so this was my first Areocarpus ever before I lost my mind. So here's another Areocarpus from that seller who was letting go of his collection. I'll call him Steve. So this is another one of Steve's plants. And it is grafted on some rootstock. I'm not sure what. And it's growing. A little cutie. 
here's an Areocarpus that I also bought off of Instagram from another seller. I think it was probably a year ago or so, maybe a little less than a year that I got this. It's, I think it's some sort of cultivar. I believe it's Areocarpus loidii, but I think it's some sort of cultivar. And there's an, I, I put this one in the shade house just because it's so small and I feel like the birds would get to it, but it's doing quite well. It's also grown quite a bit since I've gotten it. Well, I mean, relatively speaking for Areocarpus. So those are all the Areocarpus that I have in terms of more mature specimens in my shade house. Every, all the other Areocarpus are outside under the pergola. So let's go back there. All right, we are back under my pergola. And I'm just gonna go through from one section to the next. This one is an Areocarpus hybrid. Most likely some sort of retusis, maybe some cultivar in it, I'm not sure. It was just, this was from Planta Seca, which I bought up probably off of Etsy or just directly from them off Instagram. And you can see that it is in flower. I just love the contrast of Areocarpus and its flower because the cactus itself is very hard looking and hardy looking and tough looking. The flower is so delicate. Next to that I have, I believe this was a degraft. Oh by the way this isn't a pot dealer's pot. This is an Areocarpus retusis purchased from that uh, Instagram seller Steve who was letting go of his collection and I believe this is a degraft but it's in a easy Veronica makes pot it's been doing quite well let me show you something look at the roots <laughs> oh my gosh look at that oh uh, look at that yeah <laughs> I feel like retusis need a little bit more water than fissuratus do and I do my usual of lots of plant squeezing so tubercle squeezing to kind of figure out when the plant needs water so far it's been working all right but I am never quite sure about these I've managed to keep them alive this is also another plant that I purchased off another seller on Instagram Lofield Carpus who is local here in the Phoenix area and he sold it to me in this pot. He had already potted up. It's been doing quite well. Notice these tufts of hair. And it's kind of coming out in lumps. And I don't know what that is. I'm wondering if there are flower buds or something, you know, hiding underneath. I don't know. It's just so funny. These guys are all so furry. This plant I got from Instagram again, um, areocarpus.cv. This one's really cool because look at the, it has multiple heads. This is most likely a Areocarpus retusis trigonus. Pretty, probably quite a mature specimen. Very, very cool. Been doing well. Next to that, this is also from the same cello, Areocarpus.cv. This is an Areocarpus retusis. Always tubercle squeeze. Managed to keep it alive for, I think, almost a year. Next to that, I have a three-headed Areocarpus retusis. This is from the Instagram seller, Steve. This one has been I don't know, struggling a little bit. You can see how it looks kind of dry, a little desiccated, but it's been like this for a long time now. Um, but I think recently I've kept it in this pot now for like consistently, haven't been moving around. I have repotted this a couple times, which I think Areocarpus are a bit sensitive to repotting, so it was not happy. Um, but over all this time, I think it's just very slowly starting to reconstitute itself. But this one's very cool. Get my shadow out of the way. See how woolly it is? I'm just terrified of, of um, you know, getting these to rot out. So I, 
I would like pot them up when I was really new to this genus and then I would freak out, repot them into something extremely inorganic and then they would desiccate a bit and then I'd freak out and repot them again but uh, I mean at least they're still alive. Alright so next I've got some Fissuratus. This is from Lofield Carpus on Instagram. He has some really nice plants for sale and I feel like he has some very reasonable pricing on it as well because aerial carpus are, are not cheap and now having grown them from seed I know why. They, they take forever to grow. I would say by the time I have something of some size they're going to be years old. You know? Here's another Fissuratus. This is from Steve of Instagram. When I got this from Steve, his plants were a little bit on the dry side. That's always the safer way to go with Areocarpus. It's safer to keep them on the dry side than overwatered. But um, uh, over time, it has been doing very nicely in this Thompson Clayworks pot. You can see how it's very three-dimensional. It actually looks quite happy. Tubercles are nice and full and it had flowered. Oh, this one had flowered. I have a picture from a few days ago when all three of these were in flower, so I'll put a picture up here. See it? It's like a dinosaur with flowers on it. So this is quite a mature specimen. This one was from Plantaseca. This is an Areocarpus hintonia. And the cool thing about it is if you look at its leaves, it has a very particular texture on the leaf. Almost a little bit Godzilla-like, but it's not a Godzilla. But I treat this one the same as a Fissurata, so basically it, these don't get as much water um, as the Retusas do. And they seem to be fine. This is another one from Steve. It's a little bit smaller than the well, actually quite a bit smaller than the Fissuratus next to it. But it's been doing well. You can see it's also like three-dimensional. It's doing well. It's about to it flowered for me in earlier this month and now it's about to flower again. Come down here. This is one of the true cultivars that I got. This is a Retusus uh, cauliflower that I got from areocarpus.cv and it's cauliflower because of the very wide tubercles and then this very bumpy texture on the tubercle. This is why it's called cauliflower. This is definitely a cultivar so somebody bred these characteristics out of the plant. Very, very cool plant. Let's see, over here I have, uh, this was featured in my, one of my previous videos on repotting Areocarpus. It's probably a, a Areocarpus retusis. Ooh, it is so nice and full right now because it just rained really heavy over the weekend. Feels really good. This probably, this is retusis, but I'm not sure if it's some sort of cultivar because I Highly doubt you would find an Areocarpus of this form out in nature, for example. But I think this was a degraft in the gel and ceramics pot. This one is maybe, is it Scaphrostris or something? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Somebody help me. Somebody help me ID that. I think this is in a June pot. I also purchased from Steve. Next to that I have an Aerocarpus fissuratus, also from Steve. So you can see I picked up a whole bunch of plants that he was letting go. Over here is a uh, Aerocarpus retusis. This is from an eBay seller, Larry. I'll put his information. Um, I think Larry grows a lot of Aerocarpus from seed. Um, and he's here in, in the Phoenix area, but I think, I forgot if it may be a little bit more east, like east of here by a little bit. But he grows a lot of um, 
trigonus and retusus. These are all from uh, this one, this one, and this one are all from Larry. And he's not selling on eBay like all the time, but if you follow his store and just check in every once in a while, he'll post these um, plants up for sale. And for, I think, fairly reasonable price, considering that it is uh, Aerocarpus. But this is one from him. This is a, in a pot dealer's pot, which I love. They actually made this one for me because I, pot dealers often do, does pot drops on Instagram and if you have to be lightning fast in order to get a pot from them. Um, but they knew that I, like they, they actually noticed that I love all these cat pots that they make. And so they reached out and said they would make one of these UFO ones for me. And here it is. Look at that. It's a UFO ducting a cat. <laughs> I love it so much. Let's see. Look at that. And the UFO abducting a cat. I love it so much. Jump over here. This is another one from Larry off of eBay. One of his smaller ones. And this one as well. I think this is the first Aerocarpus I ever bought from Larry. And then after that I went nuts. Now not a lot of people know that about him so like I would actually have a chance to win an auction from him. So I did. <laughs> as you can see. This is one from Steve again. Um, Aerocarpus retusis probably. Here's another Aerocarpus retusis. I think of maybe Trigonus and this is from Plantaseca. And yeah. Doing fine. This is the Aerocarpus graft that I shared in my plant haul video from AZX Plants. Doing quite nicely. It is on a totem pole graft rootstock. I think it's grown. That. Cool, huh? This is nice because I just I water this based off of the rootstock. So I water it like it's a totem pole cactus. Squeeze it. Right now it's very full, extremely firm from the rain. But when I squeeze it and it has give, I give it water. Okay, let's move over here. So these were the two areocarpus that I featured in my repotting areocarpus video with the spines and clay pot. They're still alive, but this one's been desiccating a bit. I don't know if it was just sensitive to repotting or it's not happy in here, I'm not sure, but the new tubercle feels alright. I'll just leave it in there. You know, with Aerocarpus, a lot of times you just need to be really patient. Um, you may see them hurting a bit, but give them time. Be really patient with them. Um, here's a pot of almost all um, plants from Larry from eBay except for this little one. This one was from Steve. It's a little tiny one. But all these retuses are all from Larry off eBay. Look at that. It's a big one. This one actually has a trigonus growing off of... I think they're... it grew together in the same pot and they're their roots are like all intertwined with each other. I just left it like this. It's probably not great for the this little one, but I just left it. And then this one is a Trigonus by Larry as well. Nice and full right now. This is in a pot by AZ Veronica Makes. I find that Aerial Carpus, I have no proof. I feel like they like being in, in community pots. This one seems to enjoy it like this. Pretty cool. Okay, hi. So we are nearing the end of my Aerocarpus tour. Last but not least, this is an Aerocarpus retusis variety trifinger. And the reason is because the tubercle you see like this one for example it's split into three they call it trifinger this is a cultivar somebody bred 
the plant to have this characteristic. Very strange looking plant. <laughs> Very strange. This one I got from Plantaseca. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me on this little plant tour and witnessing how I pretty much lost my mind over the past year uh, and got all these areocarpus. Strange kind of love-hate relationship with them, but I think I mostly love them. These ones have done quite well. Out of all the areocarpus, the immature ones that I've had, I've had uh, one accident. So one of them rotted out on me, sadly, very sadly actually. Um, I had the nursery plant up that, that plant for me, and I shouldn't have done that. Um, it was planted in um, a soil medium that was much more rich than I am used to, and so I didn't know I was watering it too much, and unfortunately it rotted. Um, I actually saved a couple of the tubercles, and I'm trying to see if they'll root, but... I mean, it's been sitting in soil for nine, ten months now, and it's done nothing, but the tubercles are surprisingly still alive. Like they haven't completely dried out, so. Goodie. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, I hope to see you all soon. Now that the weather's a little cooler, maybe I can do some more plant videos, but we'll see. There's just too much stuff going on in life, but. Anyway. Take care. Talk to you all soon. Bye. -bye.